In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a tangent line for parametric functions. So we're given that x is equal to 4t, and we're told that y is equal to 3t squared plus 2. And we want to find an equation of the tangent line given the parameter t equals 2. How can we do so? Well, let's think about the elements of what we need in order to find the tangent line. So typically, I like to use this equation, the point-slope formula. And so what we need is some point with our x and y coordinate. That's x1 and y1. So I'm going to write it like this. And the other thing we need is the slope. So basically, we need to evaluate the derivative at t equals 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's plug in 2 into 4t to get x. So x is going to be 4 times 2, which is 8. Now let's do the same thing to get the y coordinate. So that's going to be 3 times 2 squared plus 2. And so that's 3 times 4 plus 2. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. So we have the point 8, comma 14. x is 8, y is 14. The next thing we need to do is calculate the slope. So let's find dx dt and dy dt. The derivative of 4t is 4. And the derivative of t squared, that's 2t. The derivative of 2 is 0, so dy dt is going to be 6t. Now we could determine dy dx. So it's going to be dy dt divided by dx over dt. And so that's 6t over 4. Now 6 over 4, we can reduce that to 3 over 2 if we divide 6 and 4 by 2. And to find a slope, we need to replace t with 2. So dy over dx is equal to 3 when t is 2. So we'd say that the slope is 3. So now that we have the x and y coordinates of our point and the slope, we can now determine the equation of the tangent line. So this is x1 and y1. So it's going to be y minus 14, and that's equal to the slope, which is 3, times x minus x1, which is 8. So this is the equation of this tangent line in point-slope form. Now let's get it in slope-intercept form. That is, in y equals mx plus b form. Distribute into 3, we're going to get 3x minus 24. And then let's add 14 to both sides. Negative 24 plus 14, that's negative 10. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals 3x minus 10. Now let's move on to our next question. Find an equation of the tangent line in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 at the point negative 4 comma negative 3 given x is equal to t squared minus 5 and y is equal to t squared minus 4t. So this time we don't have the t value, we don't have the parameter. We're given instead the x and y coordinate of the point. Which is good. So we already have x1 and y1. The only thing we need to find is the slope. Once we have that, we can write the equation of the tangent line. So what should we do? How should we begin? Since we have x and y, what we need to find is the value of t. So let's replace x with negative 4, and let's calculate the value of t. So first, let's add 4 to both sides. And so we have 0 
is equal to t squared minus 1. And then we can factor this expression using the difference of squares method. So it's going to be t minus 1 times t plus 1. So t can be equal to positive 1 or a negative 1. And that will give us an x value of negative 4. Now let's do the same thing with y. So y is equal to negative 3. And let's solve for t. So let's add 3 to both sides. So we have 0 is equal to t squared minus 4t plus 3. Now to factor this trinomial, we need two numbers that multiply to 3 but add to negative 4. So that's going to be negative 3 and negative 1. So it's going to be t minus 1 and t minus 3. So t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 3. At this point, look for your common t value. So t is equal to 1 in both cases. So this is what we're going to use in order to calculate the slope. So let's start with dx dt. The derivative of t squared minus 5 is 2t. And the derivative of t squared is 2t. And the derivative of negative 4t is negative 4. So dy over dx, that's going to be dy over dt divided by dx over dt. So that's 2t minus 4 divided by 2t. Now I'm going to separate this fraction into two parts. So I'm going to divide 2t by itself and negative 4 by 2t. So this becomes 1 minus 2 over t. 4 divided by 2 is 2. At this point, we can plug in t equals 1. So this is going to be 1 minus 2 over 1, which is 1 minus 2, and that's equal to negative 1. So now we have the slope of the tangent line. So let's go ahead and write the equation of the tangent line, starting with this formula. So y1 is negative 3 in this example, m is negative 1, and x1 is negative 4. So y minus negative 3 is the same as y plus 3. And x minus negative 4, that's x plus 4. So this is the equation of the tangent line in point-slope form. Now let's go ahead and distribute the negative 1. So this is going to be negative x minus 4. And then we don't need this anymore, so let's delete that. And let's subtract both sides by 3. So this is going to be negative x minus 7. So this is the equation of the tangent line in slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b form. But in this problem, we want to put it in this form. So everything on the right side, we need to move it to the left side. So let's add x and 7 to both sides. So the final answer for this problem is x plus y plus 7 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the tangent line in this form. Let's work on one more problem. Let's say x is 8 cosine theta and y is 6 sine theta. Given the angle, let's say pi over 3. Go ahead and find the equation of the tangent line when theta is pi over 3. So we're given theta. We need to determine the x and y coordinates of the point, And then we need to calculate the slope. So let's start with x and y. So what is x when theta is pi over 3? So what is cosine pi over 3? Cosine pi over 3, or cosine of 60 degrees, that's 1 half. So 8 times a half is 4. Now let's do the same thing for y. So what is sine pi over 3? 
sine pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, so this is going to be 3 square root 3. So thus we have the point 4 comma 3 root 3. So now let's calculate dx dt, or rather dx d theta, and dy d theta. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, and the derivative of positive sine is positive cosine. So dy dx is going to be dy over d theta divided by dx over d theta. So that's 6 cosine theta over negative 8 sine theta. And so negative 6 over 8, we could reduce that to negative 3 over 4. And cosine over sine is cotangent, but I'm going to leave it as cosine over sine. Now let's replace theta with pi over 3. And let's do the same thing for sine. So we said that cosine pi over 3, that's 1 half. And sine pi over 3 is 3, I mean square root 3 over 2. So we can cancel the 1 half. So this becomes negative 3 over 4 square root 3. And we can rationalize that. So we have negative 3 square root 3 over 4 times 3. And so we could cancel the 3. So the slope is going to be negative square root 3 over 4. Now let's go ahead and write the equation of the tangent line. So we saw that y1 is 3 square root 3 and the slope is negative square root 3 over 4, and x1 is 4. Now, because of the square roots, we could just leave it like this if you want to. I mean, you could distribute the negative square root 3 over 4, but if you want to leave your answer like this, it's fine. But let's go ahead and put it in slope in a set form, just in case you wanted it to do that. So this is going to be negative square root 3 over 4 times x. And then if we multiply these two, the 4s will cancel. So it's going to be positive square root 3. And there's a, a 1 in front of it. So now let's add 3 square root 3 to both sides. So in slope in a sub form, it's going to be y is equal to negative square root 3x over 4. And then 1 plus 3 is 4, so plus 4 square root 3. And that's the equation of the tangent line in slope and its form.